hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm going to show you how the all-wheel drive system works in all the dodge vehicles like challenger charger or any other vehicle as you can see there is no other switch uh, to turn it on and off so it is automatic and in this video i'm going to show you how that automatic system works when it turn on and when it turn off and uh, i'm going to show you the disadvantages of this feature and where you can check that uh, it's all wheel drive or the real wheel drive so okay let's get started and so firstly i'm going to show you how you can check that vehicle is on real wheel drive or the all wheel drive so it will be shows on the automator so just uh, okay so we have this menu button so just press it down as you can see we can come on vehicle info and so we have to scroll right okay so there we go and once again another again and there we go so the last second menu is vehicle info and vehicle info is show you that it's all wheel drive or real wheel drive so as you can see currently it's all wheel drive and uh, so now i'm going to tell you how it works i mean how it runs all wheel drive or how it goes rear wheel drive so uh, the, so the first thing is the temperature as you can see it's minus one degree out so if it's less than four degrees so it will be uh all wheel drive so as you can see it's minus one so it's less than four degrees so it will be all wheel drive and on the four degrees it will still be all wheel drive after four degrees means on five degree or above that it will be real wheel drive and the second thing the vehicle notes that if the car skids so if the car skids it means uh, it is it's gonna go to all wheel drive and so yeah so second thing is that and the last thing is the wipers so if the, when you turn the wipers on and off so it automatically goes to all wheel drive when the wipers are gone on it will go to automatic uh, all wheel drive and the wipers are off it will go to the rear wheel drive so this is the thing guys this is how the all wheel drive systems turn it on and off and now i'm going to tell you the disadvantages of this feature so the there is only one disadvantage so that disadvantage is, is that you cannot do burnout or do like drifting in this vehicle because when you turn off the traction control so it will automatically goes to all wheel drive so in order to do burnout or drift you have to turn it off or and when you turn it off it will go to all wheel drive so yeah so you cannot do burnouts or drifting in this vehicle so yeah this is the main big disadvantages of this system um yeah but as you know every problem has a solution yeah there is one solution to this we can go we know the solution and uh, i can give you the solution in my next video so if you want to do burnouts and all wheel drive or want to do drifting so how you can do that i can show you so hopefully you will be in touch with me and thank you for watching my video uh, hopefully you guys will subscribe and share this videos to the people who have this vehicle or want to buy this vehicle so it will give them the knowledge how this function works so yeah thank you